Continuing coverage, water woes in a Lillian neighborhood submerged over the summer with record amounts of rainfall. So after a week of dry weather, WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams went back to Faircloth Road today to see how they're doing. So we were here just a week ago. Water was everywhere, and as you can see, not much has changed, except the community is taking matters in their own hands. A diesel powered pump. It pumps a thousand gallons a minute. A four inch hose. Going down. And there is still plenty of water around homes on Faircloth Road. It's very slow. It's coming from so much, and there's so much water out here. After pleas to the county for help, they, they won't come help us out. They said it's all our problem. Neighbors have had enough. We got permission from the school board to, to let us use their property, whatever, to pump the water out. And our little community is coming together. We're just trying to do it on our own or whatever because we can't get no help from the county. All this water changes the way Fred Land has to do the simplest of things. And because these homes use septic systems, it's starting, it's starting to get kind of stinky around here. An already hazardous situation is becoming a health concern. Because of overflowing septics and, and uh, standing water can't, can't ever be a good thing as far as I'm concerned. The water has gone down a couple of inches. You couldn't prove it by me. <laughs> it no longer covers the road, the pump seeming to make a difference until the next rain. We're on pins and needles all the time. When a good thun all it takes is a good thunderstorm and we got water in the ditches and stuff. We spoke with this homeowner last week and he said at that time if he didn't get another drop of rain, this water would probably be here till Christmas. And despite the efforts that are going on now, he may be right. On the Baldwin County Beat in Lillian, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.